The Sioux City Explorers baseball franchise is getting renewed support in its bid to retain a lease at Lewis and Clark Park. The details in our top story tonight at 6. At its regular monthly meeting today, members of the Sioux City Park and Rec Advisory Committee voted 6-0 to zero to support the recommendation of a selection committee established by the city to accept the Sioux City Explorers' proposal to remain as sole tenants of the baseball stadium. Now, Lewis and Clark Park has been home to the team since the stadium opened in 1993. Members of Sioux City Council will ultimately decide who the next tenant of the park is. The city received two proposals, one from the Explorers organization and another from an amateur summer wooden bat league known as the Northern Woods League. Well, we knew what the Explorers had provided and they had done a you know, fantastic job over the years. You know, so that was, it made it relatively easy. You know, the financial differences were obvious to everybody on the proposals. I mean, it was, you know, they both had a nice, you know, there was a lot of discussion both ways, but it kind of kept circling back to, we know what they've done, you know. Yeah. That special committee selected to review both proposals was made up of Craig, City Treasurer Teresa Fitch, Tyson Center GM Nick Palmati, Dustin Cooper of the Arena, and Ward France with Explore Sioux City. Now, the earliest that City Council could weigh in on the matter is during its October 9th meeting. The proposal from the Explorers would have them pay $100,000 a year for 12 years to the city, along with continued investment in the park's infrastructure and amenities. It also includes 15 days of non-tenant use at the ballpark. Meanwhile, the Northwoods League's proposal offers the city $25,000 annually, with a 3% increase over a 10-year contract plus $500,000 in capital improvements. There would be 10 non-tenant days reserved for use at the park under that proposal.